have our locator, we now need to use that locator to actually retrieve that web element so we can actually do something. So for that, we need a web element class. And here we will call this item search. And we will set equal. Now, in order to find the web element, you need to use the web driver that we instantiated. So we want to actually now connect to using the driver, go to the browser, and we want to use the find element method to pass in our locator to actually go look up that web element that's on the page. And once we find the element, we want to do something with the element. So if we So if we look at the methods for web element, you can do things like clear an input field. You can click the field or button or link. Uh, you can also find elements within the element. So if you were dealing with like ordered lists or link uh, or uh, ordered lists or um, unordered lists, you could actually grab the list itself and then uh, loop through all the elements inside of the list if you wanted to interact with each list item. Uh, other things you can do, you can get the size, you can get the location, you can get the text if there's text, you can get the tag name, and so on. You can also <clears throat> get the attribute. So you can actually go pull out the uh, specific attribute values uh, or attribute IDs to get the value that's associated with it. So if, for example, with the Walmart, we have all these additional attributes inside of our tag here. So we have the area autocomplete. So we could actually look for these attributes and make sure that they are there and make sure that they are set to the correct value. Okay. Now for this particular case, I want to just um, type in the text PlayStation. So in order to simulate a user uh, typing, you would use the method and key. And here you can pass in a character sequence. So we will type in play station. Now, right now, this will just put in the text PlayStation. Now, we could look for the additional web element of this little magnifier, which is our search button, which if we inspect it, we see it is a uh, image wrapped with a link inside of a button here. So if we were to hover over and click this, we're actually clicking the button, which will do a submit to our form. However, I don't want to look up another web element here. I just want to make sure that I can type in PlayStation and hit the enter key, which should do the search for PlayStation. So to simulate that over here in our code, we will do our item search again for our web element. And we are going to send another set of keys, but this time we're going to use the keys class, which comes in Selenium, which gives you access to all the additional keys that are not standard text. So you have the plus, you have the minus, you have the alt key, the arrow keys, you also have the enter key. So we will simulate passing in enter. And then we will give the page time to load. And then it should open up another page with our search. So we should see something like this. So we should see a list of PlayStation items pop up in our window here. That's what we should see. Now, over here on the left, we also notice that uh, when we started out, we didn't have the navigation on the left to filter out our search criteria. So if we start here with PlayStation, then we get a filter list over here on the left. So what I want to do for my next step is I want to look for this link, PlayStation. So if I, in, uh, if I just copy that, just copy the text, we're going to look at the other two methods that you can use uh, with by. So here, this will be search filter locator, and this will be by 
dot link text or partial link text. So we'll start with link text and we'll actually put in the full text, PlayStation PS4 console. But we could also simplify this and actually just look for PS4. Now, there's a catch to this. If you use the link text uh, or partial link text, you have to make sure that this text is only assigned to one link. If you have more than one link or more than one location where this text is attached to a link, you're gonna get back more than one element uh, or locator when you actually look it up. So, again, we wanna come back out here. We want to inspect this guy to bring up our development console. Make sure we do our control F to bring up our search and we will type in the text we're looking for. All right, so we see it here. It's in one location here where it's text. Oh, it's in another location down here in text. So this looking for this particular one might not work. <clears throat> uh, here it is inside of text here. So that guy should work because he is a link. This one actually won't be a problem because if you look at the div tag, not a link tag. First one as well was also a div, not a link. And this guy's just in some JavaScript, so we're okay there. So we should be all right with that. And what, what should happen is we should see it click the PlayStation 4, and then we should see the identification here, the filter on the left change. All right, so we have our search, and then we will get another web element. And again, we will use driver, find element. We'll use our search filter this time. Now this time, because it's a link, we just want to click, we just want to actually click our web element. So now we just want to simulate a user click. And then again, we'll add a little short pause here. <clears throat> now if you actually do start creating uh, your own Selenium test or automated test, do not use thread.sleep. This is just for presentation purposes only. Uh, you would want to actually look up how to use the weights class. Uh, but uh, we can cover that in another topic if you guys uh, find this interesting. All right, so we'll run this guy. So we should see it type in PlayStation. It did. We clicked enter. And we should see the filter over here change. And it did. So, so far we've navigated through, we've clicked a few things. So now let's try one additional step. Let's add uh, an actual validation. So let's make sure that the first item in our list here uh, contains the Sony PlayStation 4 terabyte one slim gaming. So here we'll do uh, inspect. Now, this is where uh, this is a good example of where XPath is going to come in handy or CSS selectors. If you notice, this text is just inside of a span tag here, but it does not have any attributes whatsoever. No ID, no name, no link. So we can't really use any of the simple uh, locator methods like name, ID, uh, class name, or even link text. Uh, we have to actually do XPath or CSS selector. So here we want to probably go up and find the very first place where we actually have an ID or some type of identifier. Now, I'm gonna show you a cheat way to do this. Uh, so you can do Control F or you can right click on the element. Uh, go back to inspect, get to the actual element. So we're inside of here. Uh, actually, I want 
the span because I want the whole text. So we want this guy. You can right click in the element code and copy now gives you the option to copy your uh, CSS selector, full XPath or XPath. So we will copy the XPath and we will paste it in here. Now, the reason I didn't just take this XPath and run is because as you see here, it's got a whole bunch of uh, pathways to get to our particular span. So we're doing div, 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 one, two, three. Um, this to get tricky because if they actually change uh, any of the paths information in here, you're going to break your lookup for this test. So my recommendation is actually to get the search product results, which gives you this guy here. And then we want to walk down and get the div here. And actually, I want the span. All the spans. So, give in so we have our search results. We have our list view. So this guy is really not that clean. We want to get down to this guy here. So we come down here, product image, span, our divs, still not quite where we want. So if we do inspect again, so what we could do is we can look for the search product title or list view here. So let's actually change this up. So let's actually do it by class and look for this. Oh, look, now we actually get the 20 items. So we have 20 results returned to us. So this now gives us our list of 20. And now here, we could then walk into that list. So we could take the first one and we could go A, span. So as you can see, it's now returning me all the spans. So it's going to return me all the titles here. All right, so let's take this one and let's actually use the other find method. So once we are on this page, once we have our results, we can do another file locator. And this is going to be search results equals by dot XPath. Now, since this uh, locator is going to return us multiple elements, we need to create a list of web elements. This will be our locator. And then So again, we do use the driver class, but instead of the find element method, we're going to use the find elements method, which returns us a list of web elements. And you use this guy when you are going to be retrieving more than one. And you want to make sure that you import the Java util list method, not the AWT. That one won't work. And then we want to look for the text. Sony PlayStation 4, one terabyte slim. Or let's look for one, this text here. All right, so if I come back over here, we're gonna be looking for the string uh, expected text. Right. And now, let's actually loop through our search results and find the expected text. Now, because text is actually text here, this is inside of our tag, 
we can use the get text method to actually get the text inside of our tags to do the comparison. So here we'll create a for loop. A web element, and we will do search result, and we'll do search results. So we'll loop through our list, and in here, if our search result dot get text. contains our expected text. <clears throat> so one additional condition here. So let's add a Boolean flag. So we'll start with true. And so pass for true, and we'll break it out. All right, so if our search results dot get text contains our text, set our Boolean to true, saying the test pass, and break out of our loop. If it does not find it, it will uh, result in false. So we'll do a system out and test result, and we'll write out what we expected. And run this guy. <clears throat> it's up our window. We enter in our text. We hit enter. We click the link on the left. And we now look through our results, and we see that it found the text for one terabyte Slim Gaming Console. So this is it in a nutshell as to how to use uh, locators uh, within Selenium to look up different, uh, or in order to use different methods to look up your locators in your browser. Also with Firefox, Chrome, and Edge now, you can also pull up the uh, developer console here and go to the elements and each of these browsers should have some type of uh, lookup locator down here that you can use to look up your web elements within your page. Does anyone have any questions? Okay, no questions. I'd like to thank you guys for joining us today. We appreciate your time, and if you'd like to discuss any of these topics further, you can send us questions, comments, or suggestions through info at developner.com. Uh, you can uh, click or contact us on our developer.com site. You can follow us on Twitter at developer, or you can still find us on facebook.com slash developer. And we also have a YouTube video link, and we're also on Vimeo. Our goal is making every developer better. Thank you and have a great day.